Now we're going to do outside exterior. We're going to start all exterior lights. All exterior lights. We're going to start where? On the corner of the cab, also back of the trailer. On the corner of the cab, I got marker lights. Marker lights. In the case, the height, width, and length. On the corner of the cab, also back of the trailer, I got marker lights. In the case, the height, the width, and the length. On the center of the cab, also located back of the trailer. On the center of my cab, also located back of the trailer, I got three ID lights. In the case, commercial vehicle. Now we go to the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and talk about my directional lights. Directional lights also used as left signal, right signal, also my four-way flashers. You got high beams, you got low beams. You got high for the country, low for the city. Fog lights only used for foggy conditions. Now we're going to go ahead and do inspection of all my lenses. All my lenses, I want to make sure they are clean, visible, not cracked, not broken. We're looking for burnt bulbs. Proper color is amber. Amber is for cautious. On the rear is red. Red is for stop. Now we're going to go ahead and open the hood. On the side, we got some handles. We're going to pop it up. We're going to turn it to the side. Now we're going to the passenger side. Same thing on the passenger side. We're going to pop it over to the side. Now we're going to the middle. The middle, you should have a handle. But you put in the bumper, you're going to pull up. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about fluids. So my fluids, this is your coolant reservoir. Coolant reservoir. It's not cracked, it's not broken, checking for leaks, it's in its proper level. Tying secure to the radiator with a full set of bolts and nuts. Hoses, they're free from cuts, cracks, bulges. Clamps tying secure, we checking for leaks. My cap, we wanna make sure it's not missing, it's not cracked, not broken, checking for leaks. My sensor, we want to make sure there's no bare wires to prevent shortage. Now we're going to go to the driver's side. Driver's side. We got my power steering reservoir. Power steering reservoir. We want to make sure it's not cracked, not broken. Checking for leaks. It's in its proper level. Time secure to the radiator with a full set of bolts and nuts. The hoses, they're free from cuts, cracks, bulges. Clamps tying secure, we checking for leaks. The cap, we wanna make sure it's not missing, it's tied and secure, it's not cracked, it's not broken, we checking for leaks. My oil reservoir, oil reservoir, not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells. Tying secure to the engine with a full set of bolts and nuts, and we wanna make sure we're checking for leaks. My cap, we wanna make sure it's not missing, it's tying secure, not cracked, not broken. We wanna make sure we're checking for leaks. The way we check it is gonna be with my dipstick. Now we're gonna check my four hoses. This is water hose. They're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, clamps tying secure, I'm checking for leaks. My oil hoses, they're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, clamps tying secure. I'm checking for leaks. This is my fuel hoses. They're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, clamps tying secure. I'm checking for leaks. We go to the top, we got the colorful ones. All my air hoses, they're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, pressure clamps tying secure. I'm listening for air leaks. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and talk about my steering system. My steering system. This is your steering raw. Steering raw. Not cracked, not broken, no legal wells. Tying secure, no more than two inches of plate. Secure to my U joints. My U joints are not cracked, not broken, no legal wells. 
Secure with a full set of bolts and nuts. Maintain lubricated. Secure to steering box. My steering box, not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells. Secure to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts and we checking for leaks. Hoses, they're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, clamp secure, we checking for leaks. My pitman arm, pitman arm, not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells, tied secure to my castle nut. Castle nut, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tied secure with its proper cotton pin going through. My drag link, drag link, not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tied secure to this castle nut. This castle nut, not cracked, broken, no legally welded, tied secure with its proper cotton pin going through. Swing arm, my swing arm, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tied secure to this castle nut. Castle nut, not cracked, broken, no legally welded. Tying secure with this proper cotter pin going through. In the back, we got my tie rod end. My tie rod end, not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells. Tying secure to that castle nut. Castle nut is right here. Castle nut is not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells. Tying secure with this proper cotter pin going through. My joints. We want to make sure all my joints are not ripped, not torn. Checking for oil grease. If it's leaking, must be replaced. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about my steers. You got your steer tires. You got your inner and outer wall. They're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, no nails or screws to prevent them flat. Recap is not permitted. Tire thread is 432 a life a second. PSI 85 to 100. The way we check the tire thread is with a tire thread monitor. The PSI is with a PSI gauge, with a gauge. My rim, not cracked, not broken, no legal wealth. Tying secure with a full set of my lug nuts. These lug nuts are not cracked, broken, no legal wells. Tying secure, no rust. If there's rust, that means it's loose. You gotta tie them up. Suspension. Spring my hanger, spring my hanger, not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells, tying secure to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts. My lead springs, my lead springs, we got a full set, they're not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells, tying secure to my mounting pad. Mounting pad, not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells, tying secure to my U bolts. My U bolts, not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tying secure to the axle with a full set of bolts and nuts. My shock is over. My shock is over, not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tying secure to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts. And we're checking for oil or grease. If it's grease, we gotta be replaced if it's leaking. We gotta talk about the airbag. So you come all the way to the back. My airbag. Bracket, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tying secure to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts. My air brake is free from cuts, cracks, bulges. Uh, we're listening for air leaks and it's gotta be full inflated. Now we're gonna go to the front. My brake lines, brake chamber, my brake hoses. They're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, pressure clamps tight secure. I'm listening for air leaks. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about my brake packs or my brake shoes. My brake shoes not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tight secure, no less than one for a life. My brake drum, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tight secure. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the side of the vehicle. My reflectors and my lights. My directional light is not cracked, not broken. Tying secure to the cab with a full set of bolts and nuts. Proper colors, amber, amber precautions. They also use as left signal and my four-way flashers. My mirror, you got the bracket, mirror bracket. Not cracked, not broken, no legal well. Secure to the door with a full set of bolts and nuts. I want to check my mirror. I want to check my mirror, it's not cracked, not broken. It's clean and visible. 
no illegal stickers. My battery box, my battery box not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells, tying secured to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts. Inside, we should have no less than three batteries should be inside. Inside, terminals gotta be clean for corrosions. And back, we got wires, no bad wires to prevent the shortage. We got my straps. My straps, we wanna make sure they're not ripped, they're not torn, and we wanna make sure they're in a locked position. My fuel tank, my fuel tank, we wanna make sure it's not cracked, not broken, no illegal wells, and we're checking for leaks. Time secure to my straps. We got two straps. We got a metal and a rubber. Metal, not cracked, not broken, no illegal weld. Time secure to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts. The rubber, we wanna make sure it's not ripped, not torn to prevent metal to metal rubbing. My fuel cap, my fuel cap, we wanna make sure it's not missing, it's not cracked, not broken, no legal wells. Checking full leaks inside, we got a rubber gasket. Inside, rubber gasket, not ripped, not torn, not missing, checking full leaks. Inside, we got the proper T-chain. Crossover fuel line, not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tight secure, checking full leaks. Back of it, we got hoses, free from cuts, cracks, bulges, clamp secure, I'm checking full leaks. My chassis, my frame, so this is your frame. My frame not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tight secure, gotta be well centered. My cross member, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tight secure to the chassis with a full set of bolts and nuts. We go to chassis number two, frame number two. So we got my upper and low frame. My upper and low frame, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tight secure, secure. We got my cross beam. My cross beam, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tight secure with a full set of bolts and nuts. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the coupling system. Coupling system, coupling system consists of three lines. You got green for electric, red for emergency, blue for service. My electric line, no bad wires to prevent shortage. Hoses, I want to make sure they're free from cuts, cracks, bulges, pressure clamps tight and secure. I'm listening for air leaks. My glad hand, my glad hand, I want to make sure it's not cracked, not broken, no legal wells. We're listening for air leaks. Inside, we got a rubber gasket. We want to make sure it's not ripped, not torn, not missing, and we're listening for air leaks. My prom, my prom is not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tight and secure to the cap with a full set of bumps and nuts. It should be connected the proper way from my prom, from my cab to my trailer. Then we go to my spring. My spring not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tight secure to my bracket. Bracket not cracked, broken, legal well, tight secure to the cab with a full set of bolts and nuts. My coupling system, it should be not too long, not too short. If it's too long, it will get tangled my drive shaft. If it's too short, you'll activate the service emergency brake. Brake. Now, my glad hand holder box, not cracked, not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tight secured to the cab with a full set of bolts and nuts. I got my cargo light. I want to make sure my cargo light is not cracked, it's not broken. We're looking for burned bolts. We got wires, no bad wires to prevent shortage. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about my unit, my fifth wheel unit. My fifth wheel unit, I want to make sure it's not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tight secured to my platform. This is your platform, not cracked. Not broken, no legal well, tying secure with a full set of bolts and nuts to the rail. The rail is not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tying secure to the chassis with a full set of mounting bolts. My release arm, my release arm, not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tying secure, should be in the lock position, being hooked with the trailer. And top is my skin plate, my skin plate, not cracked. Not broken, no legal wells, tying secure, and it's got to be maintained, lubricated. Now we're going to go to my apron. <clears throat> this is your apron. My apron, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tying secure. It should be no gap between the apron and your skin plate when being hooked with the trailer. My kingpin, my kingpin, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells. 
Tying secure, it's gotta be maintained, lubricated. Tying secure to my locking jaw. So this is your, this is your locking jaw. Locking jaw, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, tying secure. Now we're gonna talk about the landing gear. So my landing gear, whole unit. My landing gear is not cracked, not broken, no legal wells. You got your supports and you got your braces. Your braces, your supports are not cracked, broken, or legally welded, tying secure with a full set of bolts and nuts. My leg, my leg is not cracked, it's not broken, no legal well, and it's gotta be maintained, lubricated. My boot, not cracked, not broken, no legal wells, and we should be looking for rust. My handles, my handles not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tying secure with a full set of bolts and nuts. It should be in the lock position, being hooked with the trailer. My clearance, my clearance should be if my, my leg should go down and up properly, it should be in the up position, being hooked with the trailer. Now we're gonna talk about reflectors and lights. So we got my reflectors. We wanna make sure they're not cracked, they're not broken. Tying secure, amber, amber is for cautious. Now we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna talk about our lights. We wanna make sure all of our lights, we wanna make sure they're not cracked. They're not broken, we're not missing the lenses. We're looking for burnt bolts. Proper color is gonna be red. Red is for stop, they also use as left signal, right signal, also your emergency four-way flashers. And also for your, then we go to the top. We wanna make sure we're looking at the market lights, ID lights. Market lights, you already know, is for the height, width, and length. On the center is for a commercial vehicle. And you got your DOT tick. We want to make sure it's not ripped, it's not torn, it's not missing. We got the pinto hook. We want to make sure our pinto hook is not cracked, not broken, no legal well, tying secure with a full set of bolts and nuts, is to pull, push doubles and triples. And that concludes one mile inspection.